All right, this question comes from one of my favorite Excel colleagues. She sent me this sheet that has check boxes in E, G, I, and K that switch the question from true or false. And she wants these three cells to be formatted in different colors depending on the selections. So let's get started. Uh, she wants these to be highlighted green when E2 is true. And so we'll come to conditional formatting, new rule. Here, use a formula to determine which cells to format. And this one's going to be real easy. It's just when E2 is true. So equals, and we'll click on E2 there. Uh, and that's it, because this is true or false as it is. It's going to return a false, and nothing will happen if it returns a true. We're going to switch the formatting here to be green. OK, and OK. And here, sure enough, those are now green. Next question, yellow when E2 and G2 are true. And so we'll come to conditional formatting, new rule. Again, formula to determine. And for this one, we'll type equals. And she wants it to be and. So E2 and G2. So we'll type and. Here's our E2, comma, G2. So this one has to be a true and a true to return a true. And if that is all true, uh, we'll have that be yellow. OK. OK. So here, that's green. That's yellow. Great. If I unclick this, it's nothing. Perfect. Last one, and this one is tricky for two reasons. Uh, one, it's a uh, and, and an or. And the other one has to something to do with precedence. So I'll talk about that in a second. So here, I'm the conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula. And this formula is going to be equal to the and of E2, because that one has to be true, comma, or one of these two, I2 or K2 has to be true, parenthesis, parenthesis. And so if I2 is true or K2 is true or both are true, that'll return a true. And then if E2 is true, then all together, that'll be a true. And we want that to be blue. Let's do that blue. Okay. Okay. So now that gives us green. That gives us yellow. Great. Come back to green. Click this. That's blue. Fantastic. This is blue. Fantastic. Both of those is blue. Great. And now G2 is supposed to trump everything. If I click this, it stays blue. And we actually wanted that to come back to yellow. And the reason it isn't working is if we come to manage rules, all we have to do is take this rule and move it down one. If you notice, parenthetically, they tell you that the rules are applied in the order shown. And by moving it down one, it'll now do what she wanted. So if G is on, if E and G are on, it's yellow, no matter what, regardless of what I and K are doing. But if G is off, then it'll test this I and K. And we come back to green, and that was all of the cases. Enjoy.